hey hey guys a short update for you so this is ft2000 l2 3.2 diameter put down currently 48 volt wind turbine and on top here we have as it was before ft1000 48 volt one in here on the place where used to be the ft2000 sits now the ft1500 but 96 volts now I mean, we have some nice wind, like the smaller guys are working, because, well, the, that tower is still empty, because that's the place where this one will be eventually moved, the, the biggest one. And let's go and check what's going on on the controller's side, because, well, since we have some wind, let's do the check how the FT1500 will work on the 48 volt system on a normal standard controller, or a boost controller, actually. Oh, I have one more. Yeah, that's the biggest wind turbine, but it doesn't produce anything except noise. Anyways, so I finished it all yesterday late. Yesterday late, and we right now we have some wind, but I haven't had a chance, haven't had time to change controllers. And I mean, the thing is that uh, they are still as they used to be. So on this one, currently there is a FT1000, the 48 volt wind turbine that works with the boost model that starts charging from 20 volts, right? And then this one currently, which is the boost controller for 48 volt system, but I can currently actually even do this one so I can switch off the MPPT, you see? Oh, you don't see. You don't see. Let me try to switch on the, the, the. Oh, okay. You see. So what I did, I went to the, I went to, I went to the settings, to the settings, wind info, and then uh, there is the possibility. Oh, come on. To switch off the MPPT. So that's what I do. I'm turning it. I'm making it being just a normal uh, ballast type 48 volt controller. And I mean, it will be dragged by the battery. So you see, this is how FT1500 works. The wind is from four uh, up to up to seven, eight. Sometimes, I mean, when it blows, it blows. But that's the reality how it works. I mean, it works, but it doesn't behave as good as it should because you see, right now specifically, they are sitting on both on same height. It's ten meters. You see, that's how 1500 one goes. The bigger one, it has a bigger wind wheel, 2.8 meters. And that's how the 2.5 one goes. Let's wait for the wind to blow heavily. Uh, let me change you this one. Yeah, it's better. So you, you see here, that that's, that's the gen voltage, that's the wattage, and that's the amps that goes from wind turbine. That's the RPM, that's clear. Okay, so... And switching back here. Why the bigger machine produces less than the smaller one? You see 100, 120, almost 200, 150, 140, 140, 144, 150, 160, 90, 70, 80. Uh-huh, you see the difference, and you see how little amps are going into. That's the fun fact, right? Well, eventually the wind a little bit stopped, but I mean, still, uh, that's that's the difference. I did, I, I, I'm not tricking anything. Oh, well, let me try to switch the MPPD back on. Uh, I can do this, uh, I can switch it on. Let me check what are the other settings. Uh, 32 volts is cut in. And some modification. I did it so it doesn't doesn't push too heavily for the wind turbine. I mean, it can work as the boost. It can work from much lower voltage, right? But you see, ooh, that's nothing. That's nothing, and that's and that's almost twice as big or even more. And that's the main difference. Remember when I told you that the wind turbines have to have their proper controller for it. So yes, that's exactly the case. So what I have to do, I have to literally switch them. Just like switch and change controllers. That's it. 
So the 96 volts should go to this one because it has a back module. It can work up to 150 volts from the wind turbine. I can I can make it start charging from 70 volts, for example. I, I don't know what the value will be, but I'm just like j guessing whatever. Uh, and this one will still keep working with the FT1000 or any other standard wind turbine that is 48 volt, and it will work perfect and amazing. So that's that's the thing how it goes. And from this perspective, you may probably see it rotation-wise, or you maybe don't. Like I clearly see that this one goes literally two times faster than this one. But the difference in in wind wheels, 2.5 meters. 2.8 meters not much really not much it should not be that crazy difference even if you took whatever calculators but once again 1500 the 2.8 meter goes like this and the 1000 the 2.5 meter wind well goes so much better i mean almost double always almost double or even more, I don't know. Check the RPMs, 130, 140. Just remember this because I'm not releasing this video until I do the switch actually. So stay tuned, I'm doing it right now and we'll add you update later. So the very next day I'm playing around still with the settings a little bit, but the controllers are switched for these two guys, right? So. Now, now they are sitting both on correct ones. So the front one, the FT1000 one, sits on LHCM. That's how it goes. Goes pretty nice, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Because well, the wind is literally mimicking what was yesterday in the middle of the day, uh, somewhere between four up to blows with uh, with up to seven or maybe even seven and a half. Um, that's how goes this one. The only like thing is that it's now back working to be MPPT, of course. That's the FT1000. And I managed to set the controller for the FT1500 to actually work in the mode of starting 125 RPM up to 480, 485 and starting from 48 volts, so half the voltage, half the nominal voltage. Nominal is 96. And I mean, uh, when it blows, it blows. It goes it goes really nicely and, 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 and exactly as it should. I'm still playing around with the value of how to actually the curve should be going. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Right now the wind has died. Uh, I'm not sure if this one already is showing you. It still goes at 5.1 because, it, as I told you, it takes some average for, for some amount of time. So we have to wait probably until it gets down. But uh, the, the wind turbine is the very first to react on the wind. I mean, and literally it, 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 it went down to as little as three and something. And that really like uh, shows correctly. So from what I see how it works, it works absolutely corresponding to the wind we have currently. And uh, yeah, FT1000 also is slowing down. Uh, but I mean, it has MPPT. That's the only difference exactly. So yeah, it, it might benefit a little bit for, the, for this wind turbine. But in general, they both are now working as they should. If, and if it blows 4 plus, 5 plus meters per second, uh, then it actually changes this stuff exactly to be matching what is on the wind wheels because as I told you already before the wind wheel size is what matters the most if you may clearly see self-mater now got a three blader not a five blader right I just received the set from AliExpress uh, the 1.5 something, 154 maybe meters in the diameter right now. Currently it's stopped because it swishes a lot. I'm not really comfortable with that. I want to think how to reduce the noise. But I mean, so far I, I'm seeing the increase of input on this one as well. Uh, compared to the previously used 5 blader. Uh, yeah, this one compared to this one, which is 1.3 and literally... That's obvious because 
I changed the uh, the blades to be to be to, the diameter to be bigger. So again, FT one thousand, it speeds up. I believe it's starting to blow in something. This one is slow to start, but I mean, if it spins, if it goes, it goes. We see, yeah, it starts spinning 65 volts, 66. It just depends on the wind. How will I pick it up? You see, that's if the 1500 goes. 190, 180. Yeah, that was the that was the blow. This one is already below that values, so that one outrun it. Exactly as it should be comparing the diameters, the working diameters. But I mean, the, the bigger machine, the slower it takes to for it to run, the slower it takes for it to pick up the pace. But in general, again, as I told you, 48 volt, go for the 48 volt boost controller. 96 or 120, go for a buck controller, regardless whether it's locally made or whether it's again a LHCM, for example, but the buck version. That's the main claim. And that's like the conclusion you have and that's the proof you have right now so thanks guys for now i will have a lot of, i have a lot of stuff to do still because uh, hey yeah you see the tower is still empty i have to touch the cables etc etc and i mean i have no time for it <laughs> so yeah bye for now thanks